My grandfather passed away last month. Sudden, gruesome, according to my, uh... Well, Mom wasn't sad about it. All men die, is what she said to me. Every single last one of them. And I said, I'm a man. And she said, well, he had things he liked to do, my grandfather. Habits, routines, rituals. Sometimes when we visit, he would do things three times. Three knocks on the door before he entered the room. Three turns of a key in the ignition before he put his foot on the accelerator. He'd spit on the ground three times. Every time he said the name of somebody he didn't like. He didn't like a lot of people. One time he spit on me when he said it was an accident, like I'd gotten in the way, like I'd suddenly been somewhere I wasn't supposed to be. You shouldn't have been there, he said, spit dangling from his beard, all angry. Who said you could be there? I wanted to be like him. Or maybe I just wanted him to like me, and I thought being more like him would make him feel something about me. Like the way kids at school said their grandfathers felt about them. I thought that my mother tried too hard to be different, and that's why they didn't talk. That's why she looked at the ground every time she said his name. That's why on our visits she took long walks for hours sometimes. Until once uh, we called the police and reported her missing. And when they brought her back to his house in a squad car, it was like, it wasn't the first time this has happened. So I started doing things in threes too. He had this Rubik's cube on his desk, an old one with the colors all peeling off. I took it and every time someone tried to talk to me at the dinner table, I wouldn't answer them. I would just turn one row three times. Click, click, click. What'd you do today, Danny? You want some more peas, Danny? Until everyone got fed up with me, including my grandfather, actually. The last time we visited him, I was an adult and I wasn't scared of him anymore. Not as much, not exactly. So I asked him flat out, why don't you like me? Immediately, he said, and why exactly do you deserve to be liked? I uh, had nothing to say to that, he said. If you can figure out this Rubik's Cube before you leave, then maybe you'll have done something I can be proud of. Maybe then you'll be enough. <sighs> I stayed up all night, trying. In the morning, I told my mom what he said, and she didn't say one word. She's snatched the unfinished Rubik's Cube away from me, went into the kitchen, turned the oven on to 500, tossed this inside, and then we went, got in the car, drove away, and that was the last time I ever saw him. My mother never turned back. She just kept her eyes on the road. And with her right hand, she squeezed my hand so tightly. And it bruised my knuckle. You are enough, she said. You have never not been enough. I, I didn't say anything back. I just, um, uh, with my other hand, I, um, I made a familiar circular motion. Uh, click, click, click. I was so convinced that 
the solution to all of it was um, whatever I might try.